Hey guys, it's Jade, and welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video, as you guys can probably tell by the title above, we are going to be doing a huge college apartment haul. I'm super, super excited to share this video with you guys. If you guys don't know, hey, my name is Jade. I'm going to be a sophomore in college, which is my second year at Lee University, and I am a nursing major. So I actually did a huge college dorm haul last year that I will link in the cards above, or you can also just check out my college tab on um, my channel page. Um, if you guys are going to be entering freshmen and need more stuff like that, I would definitely check out that video. But this video is going to be a huge haul of all the things that I bought that I will be needing this year because now I'm going to be living in a college apartment. So how my school works, um, you are required to live on campus for two years. However, um, you can apply to have a college apartment style dorm. So instead of just being a room with a bathroom that you potentially share, or even in my case, last year I had a room um, in a community style dorm where I had a bathroom that the whole hall shared. Now I'm gonna have a kitchen that's a full-size kitchen, a full-size living room, um, a bathroom and a bedroom all in this apartment style dorm. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe down below as well as give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. It really, really does help out my channel and it doesn't take a whole lot of effort from y'all. So please, give it a like. I think that's gonna be it for this intro, so let's hop right on in to the video. So I pretty much have everything that I think I'm going to be needing for my apartment. Of course, I will probably buy a couple other things here and there throughout um, the rest of the summer because it is still pretty early in the summer. But I mainly did all of my shopping at Walmart and then a couple things are from a bunch of other places around that I will share with you guys as we come to them. I also do have three roommates that are gonna be living with me in this apartment, so they are also bringing things um, to help with the living room, like furniture and stuff like that. Um, but as far as the kitchen, I pretty much got everything for the kitchen. I'm a really big kitchen person and cooking in general, so I really wanted to have some nicer stuff um, that I could use in the kitchen. They can bring whatever they wanna bring for the kitchen, but for me, here are all my things. So the first thing I got was actually this super cute long pillow. This actually is going to be going on my bed, I believe, in my dorm. Of course, I still have my bedding and my pillows and all the stuff that I bought last year for my dorm that I will be reusing. Um, but I wanted to get a couple new things. So the first thing that I got was this super cute pillow. It honestly looks exactly like something you would find at Anthropology, And I got this at TJ Maxx. So pop off TJ Maxx. Next thing I got is actually doesn't really seem like much of a college apartment necessity, but I'll kind of explain why I'm really excited about this. I got this on a super good deal at Nordstrom Rack. It was literally less than $15 and it pretty much is just this huge, super nice quality black makeup bag. So my goal is to be able to keep all of my makeup in this bag um, as well as my brushes and stuff so that I can just kind of carry it around throughout the apartment, not to have to have to have like a big acrylic storage unit on top of my desk taking up room. So pretty much it's got this really big deep inside pocket here that's big enough to hold palettes, big enough to hold all my bottles of things. And then around this top portion right here, it actually unzips and it has a makeup brush holder right here as well as another pretty good sized pocket, like it's pretty thick, um, to either hold more makeup brushes or makeup wipes or more makeup, whatever I decide. But I just really loved the black minimal design with the gold on it. I think she's super cute. So the next thing that I want to show you guys going into some of my kitchen things, this video is going to be a little bit all over the place. I'm so sorry. Everything is still in the bags from when I bought it, but what can you do? I got this super cute 10 piece cookware set. It's actually really beautiful. It's non-stick and they kind of have this champagne finish to them if you guys can tell. This whole set was only $20 from Walmart. That is why, y'all, I mentioned this and I don't actually even think I mentioned it in this video. I did make a shopping vlog of buying the majority of this stuff, like all the stuff that was from Walmart. So definitely go check out that video if you guys want to know prices and deals and all sorts of stuff like that. But one thing I said in that video and I, Cannot emphasize this as much. Whoa. Cannot emphasize this enough. Target is so fun to shop at. Bed Bath, Beyond, Bed Bath and Beyond, so fun to shop at. And there are things that you can get from there. I love Target. But y'all, Walmart is where it's at. Start at Walmart, go from there, and then go to those more expensive places because you are going to get deals that you could not even imagine at Walmart. Like, sis, I'm a big Walmart stan. We know this. Anyways, I love this cookware set. It is from the brand. Traumanita. I don't really know how to say that, um, but it's great quality. The pieces are so nice. It comes with everything I'm going to need for cooking. 
super excited about that one. Next thing that I got, I actually got this Farberware Classic six piece cutlery set that actually includes a knife block. Y'all, this is such one of those random things, but I really, really wanted a knife block, but all of them on Amazon were like over a hundred dollars, like a hundred dollars was the minimum. Um, and then I went and they all had like 40 knives in it and I really just don't need 40 knives. I only needed a couple, but I just loved the aesthetic of a knife block. So when I went to Walmart and found this one for less than $15, sis was blown away, blown away. So this is kind of what it looks like. It comes with four knives and a pair of kitchen scissors, which is exactly what you need. You're not gonna need more of that in a college apartment. So definitely highly recommend. All right, y'all, I'm just gonna start going a little bit faster through these things because there is a lot to get through and I tend to talk way too much in these videos. Um, so I'm gonna start going a little faster. Next things I got, I actually got from Five Below quite a while ago and it's actually three of these little picture frames. They are just kind of a brushed gold color and I really just, I'm not gonna keep these prints, ooh, I'm not gonna keep these prints in there. Um, I'm gonna print out pictures of me and my roommates probably, but I just kinda loved how they look like they're floating off the wall. So cute. Next, I got this set of glasses from Better Homes and Gardens, also a Walmart owned brand, and they are just so cute. They were less than $10, I think they're about $8, um, which is, again, a crazy good price. They look so bougie and so nice. They kind of have that like square bottom, but round top. I just, the aesthetics are on point with these. I'm really pumped about it. Next, I got some of these Mainstays brand bar mop towels. It's pretty much just a six pack of some kitchen towels to do dishes with. I also got this little Mainstays set of a salt and pepper shakers. Next up, actually from Goodwill, I got four of these. They, they had a bunch of them there and they were like a matching set. Four of these cute little glass vintage looking ice cream sundae glasses. I thought these were so cute. Like I could imagine me and my four, my three other roommates, like having little ice cream nights together and eating them out of these super cute cups. They were just too cute. I couldn't pass them up. Next up, we have this really, really cute um, mixing bowl set. This is actually a new brand to Walmart that I discovered and I was like, sis, that is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. So I had to snatch it up. Um, so this is Beautiful Kitchenware by Drew Barrymore. It's actually her brand. And this comes with three different sizes of mixing bowls in those colors. The colors are actually cute, like cuter than they're coming off on camera. But what can you do? Love these. From that same brand, I also got one of these little pasta strainer, colander things. Um, this is a five quart colander, so pretty big. And this is actually in this beautiful sage green color that I'm currently obsessed with. And it matches one of the mixing bowls in that set is also this color, so love that. Had to get a new memory card, that's fun. As I was saying, the next thing that I got was just a pack of these Great Value Brands Everyday Paper Bowls. I am maybe wanting to get a like dishware set with plates and bowls and stuff like that that are ceramics. Have not decided, I didn't like any of them at Walmart, so I'm still debating. I did end up getting some paper products just to kind of get me started um, as I'm still looking around for some. Next thing I got was just this Mainstays Nonstick Square Cake Pan. You know your girl likes to bake. So she got herself a cake pan. The next thing I got is actually so, so cute and I could not recommend more. This is the Steam Fast little travel iron. As you guys can see, this box is tiny and this contains an iron. I don't iron my clothes that much. I don't find it a very enjoyable thing to do, but it is necessary at times. I don't do it a lot, but it is necessary. So I wanted to get an iron um, that wouldn't take up a whole lot of room, wouldn't be a whole big messy thing to have to deal with, but would serve the purpose. And I found this cute little mini iron for $12.88 at Walmart. And y'all, this thing sells for over $20 on Amazon. So that is what I'm saying when I say go to Walmart first. Next, also from that really pretty, beautiful brand that I was talking about for kitchenware, I got this set of four measuring cups again it comes in those matching colors to my mixing bowls and my colander which you know a girl loves to match and speaking of that um, I also got their set of five measuring spoons in those colors as well last thing from this brand I promise um, I also got this cute little mini spatula set um, these are just gonna be great for baking and any type of cooking you always need a good spatula next I just got some refills of these little scotch bright non scratching um, dish cleaner brushes. I have a dish cleaning brush somewhere in this mess of stuff behind me, but those are the refills. Next thing I got was actually this really cute kitchen accessory set from the Mainstays brand at Walmart, again. Um, and it comes with a really cute little pot holder, an oven mitt, um, a really pretty dish towel, and an apron in the back. So I'm gonna be extra special with that. Next up, we have that little scotch Bright dish brush that I was talking about and a big bottle of Dawn Platinum dish soap. Next up, very hard to show you guys, I actually got this four by six little white rug. It was 
just a basic, really cheap white rug thing that I'm actually going to put in my bedroom. I did not have a rug in my room last year, but this year, the apartment dorm thing that I'm living in, the carpet is blue. Like, I'm talking like bright, bright blue, the whole thing, and it is tragic to say the least. So we're getting a um, rug for the living room. We haven't picked that out yet as roommates, um, but I wanted to put something in my room as well, so I got that little kind of creamy white colored one. It'll do the trick. It was only like $18. Love her. Again, a lot of this stuff is kitchen stuff. Hopefully that's interesting to you guys. I freaking love kitchen stuff. It was the most fun thing to buy I've ever bought in my whole life. Next thing, I got this little four cup angled measuring cup thingy. I got a set of two stainless steel tongs. And I got this really neat little multi-pack of all of the little cooking tools, utensils I'm gonna need. It comes with a spatula, a grated spatula, pasta spoon, several different types of spoons, some with holes, some without a ladle, and then even a little spoon rest to be able to rest these on when you're using them. And I think it was like $5 or less. It was such a great set, and like that's what I'm saying. Like stuff like this, I don't really need to buy bougie brands of it. It all does the same thing. But then by saving money there, I can get cuter things like this beautiful bowl brand stuff. Next, I got a little basic ice cream scoop. I also just got three individual of these big serving spoons. I did get a silverware set that I will show you with you guys later when we get to it under this mess of stuff over here. Um, but it did not come with big serving spoons, so I just got three of these individually to add in there. And then I just got a basic black peeler. Next up, I actually got two sets of these little 20 count string lights. I had string lights up in my dorm room last year. I loved them so much. They created such a nice vibe in the room, um, but I left them on like all day long, every single day, which probably wasn't the best idea. Um, and they did eventually go out, so I just purchased two new packs. These were only about $10 a piece, so again, not too bad price-wise. Again, I just got a big pack of paper plates to go along with the paper rolls that I already showed you guys because I don't quite have a silverware set that I think I want yet. Next, I just have this little basic black dish drying mat. This is a really easy way that we can just store it in a drawer or store it under the sink, pull it out when we do dishes to let them dry. We don't have a dishwasher. Um, rather than having one of those big dish drying racks, it kind of takes up a lot of space. Next up, this was something that I just thought was so cool and such a good deal. So Walmart actually sells these really cool flatware sets um, and it pretty much comes with 49 pieces, which is service for eight. Um, little silverware set in a tray for less than $10. So pretty much I can open up the saran wrap on this, pop it straight in a drawer and be ready to go for any of my eating and hosting needs. It was just such a good deal. They look really nice. They're great quality. They actually had several different patterns of um, silverware that you could choose from and overall great investment. Next up, you can kind of see it back here. I'm not going to pull it forward. Um, I got this cute little fuzzy storage ottoman. I had one of these again in my uh, dorm last year that was a gray one, but when we were driving my stuff back home, we didn't secure the top on it very well, and it flew out of the back of my dad's truck. So, we don't have that one anymore, um, but I got this new one. This one's actually super nice because it's collapsible, so I can actually fold it up and put it in a box to store it, which is going to be so much easier. Um, but this is kind of what it looks like. I honestly like this one better than the one I had last year, so I'm here for it. Next up, my mom actually gave me a whole bunch of stuff from her kitchen as well as some extra things that we already had around the house. So I'm going to go through those really quickly. First, I got a fresh pack of Reynolds Wrap aluminum foil. I also got one of these big rolls from Costco of the Members Mark nonstick parchment paper. She also got me two of these little cans of Lysol wipes. I've got two packs of paper towels and I've got a really big thing of toilet paper. She also got me one of these Garrison Home antibacterial hand soaps in the lavender scent. And this is actually super big, so it'll be great for the kitchen. And in addition, she got me a refill for it, which is just gonna be so highly appreciated. Um, again, of that Garrison and Home antibacterial refill hand soap in lavender. Next, we got this whole big bag of stuff right here to go through. So first up, I am bringing the popcorn seasoning because I'm the only one that uses it at my home. Of course, we have butter and white cheddar. Essentials only. And of course, um, my Whole Foods, everything but the bagel seasoning. Literally iconic, can't live without it. I have one of these little gray microwavable safe dishes. I have another microwavable safe dish that's used for baked potatoes. This may seem a little childish to bring. I am not gonna lie, and I was not gonna show it in this haul just out of fear of criticism, but I'm gonna show it anyways. It's one of those little freezer popsicle makers that you used all the time as a child. I love these, I haven't used it in forever, but I thought I would go ahead and bring it because you know what, I love popsicles, and it would be nice to have. It's free, I'm bringing it. 
Next up, I just have two of these little muffin trays. I've got a really big, nice metal pizza pan for freezer pizzas. I've got three different baking sheets. I've got two of this smaller size and one of this bigger one. I have this little fridge bins egg container that'll be really nice for either storing eggs that I buy at the store or once I make hard boiled eggs, I can keep them in here. I've got a set of two of these little non-stick cake pans. Kind of random, but it's just a little set of happy birthday candles that she didn't really want anymore. And I was like, hey, that will definitely come in handy at some point. So go ahead and prepare now. And this little wooden cutting board. And it's now piled under all of these things, but she did give me a really, really pretty stone um, charcuterie board, but I am not digging it out from underneath all these things. So that's that. I have also purchased a couch for my living room in the apartment that I got off of Facebook Marketplace that you guys will see in my apartment tour and in my move-in day vlog and all sorts of things like that. I really just don't feel like getting it right now because it is a couch. And I also purchased a $10 coffee table from Goodwill that I'm actually going to refinish myself and paint for our apartment as well. So I'm pretty sure that is everything that I have purchased for my apartment thus far. I hope I'm not forgetting anything. Again, there will be a few more things here and there that I will have to get. And of course I have all of my dorm stuff from last year that I will be bringing. But I think that's gonna be it for today's video. All right guys, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel as well as subscribe to my channel down below for more back to school content and college content and all sorts of stuff like that. Make sure to leave in the comment section down below what back to school videos you guys wanna see the most on my channel. I'll be sure to make those for you guys. Make sure to go over and follow me on Instagram. It's just at jbenward, pretty basic. As well as I sell a lot of my old clothes on a Poshmark account, which is always linked in the description box as well. I think that's going to be it for this video. Again, make sure to go watch the apartment shopping vlog that I posted before this video, as well as stay tuned for move-in day vlogs and apartment tours once we get everything moved in. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly love and adore you guys and feel so blessed by this platform every single day. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Some